Water. It's our most precious resource, essential for all life on Earth. Here in Australia, we're lucky to have a safe and reliable supply of drinking water, so it's easy to take this resource for granted. In Yubadulla, the local council is the water authority responsible for managing and treating drinking and wastewater. We pump water from a river to a storage dam, and then onto our treatment plant. A network of pipes and storage reservoirs then transports treated water to your place. Stick around and I'll explain what happens to your water between the river and turning on your taps at home. Yubadella's water catchment is formed by the Dewar River in the north and the Churos River in the south. Both rivers flow through forested areas with few houses and farms. This means we're starting with good quality, raw water. We work with other organisations to prevent erosion and contaminants getting into the rivers we draw from. Landcare groups and local land services pitch in, and the good management practices of farmers, residents and visitors all play a role. The Dewa River is Yerubadala's main water source, but we also pump water from the Churos River when we need it. We pump water to Deep Creek Dam, an open-air storage reservoir near Mogo. The dam can store up to 4,900 million litres of water, enough to supply the Yerubadala for just over a year, including during the busy tourism season when our population triples. We're also planning to build water storage for the south of the Shire, once it's built, and we can regularly pump water from the Churos River, Yerubadala's water supply will be secure long into the future. Deep Creek Dam is considered full when it reaches 95% capacity. When the dam level falls to around 80%, the council looks at introducing water restrictions. This decision takes into account current consumption, weather forecasts, and the time of year. For example, coming into the busy summer season. The pristine natural environment around Deep Creek Dam means the raw or untreated water is kept as clean as possible. The raw water in the dam tends to form layers. At the bottom, the water is dirtier and cooler. The top layers are warmer and have more oxygen and can develop algal blooms. Before the raw water is pumped to the council's northern water treatment plant, those layers are mixed together by a solar-powered agitator, a bit like a fan. The treatment plant near Denham's Beach can treat about 20 megalitres, that's 20 million litres of water, each day. The first step of the water treatment process is known as stabilisation. First, the pH level of the raw water is stabilised using hydrated lime and carbon dioxide. This reduces the acidity of the water. If water is too acidic, it can corrode the pipes and infrastructure that transport the water to each village in town. If it's the opposite, too alkaline, it will form a buildup of calcite, a mineral which can cause blockages. The water is then dosed with fluoride, an additive that helps protect teeth against decay. Step two of the treatment process, coagulation, and flocculation. In this process, chemicals are added, causing tiny particles of dirt, dust, and pollen to clump together to make them easier to remove. These clumps of impurities are known as flocculant. Next, air is added to the water to create tiny air bubbles. These air bubbles help float the flocculant to the surface, where they are skimmed off the top and sent to a wastewater tank for more treatment. The clearer water underneath is filtered through sand and anthracite, a man-made coal which cleans it further. It then goes through a disinfection process where the filtered water is passed under ultraviolet light to kill any harmful bacteria. It's also dosed with chlorine, which protects the water from contamination while it makes its way through the network of pipes to Yubadala's homes and businesses. Remember flocculant? The clumpy floaty bits we skimmed off the top it's pumped to special tanks, where the clumps have thickened into a sludge and separated from the water, using gravity. The sludge sinks to the bottom of the tank. The clear water from the top is taken back to the beginning of the treatment process. 
Once the treatment process is complete, the water is stored in a giant tank, known as a reservoir. This is located near the treatment plant at Denham's Beach. From there, it is distributed up to Long Beach and all the way down to Tilba through a network of underground pipes, known as water mains, to smaller reservoirs in different towns and villages. The water travels through pipes using gravity, helped by pumping stations along the way, directly to your house or business. In the warmer months, when the demand for water is high, a smaller, simpler water treatment plant near Badala is used to take and treat water directly from the Churos River. This treated water is then sent to townships from Badala to Tilba. So next time you turn on a tap, remember, a lot goes into making the water you drink safe and reliable. It's our most precious resource. Don't waste it.